Former Peter O'Pete's captain, Mike Martone, will go down as the stay-at-home defenseman that scored the Game 7 winning goal that would send the 1996 Peets through the front door of the 96 Memorial Cup. Unlike most players who move on to the OHL, Martone didn't start playing competitive hockey until his later years. I played, I think it was House League uh, in Pee Wee Major. Uh, I played a couple years of rep and then I went back to House League. wasn't sure really if I wanted to ski or play hockey. Uh, and, and so I played house league and Pee Wee Major, Pee Wee Minor, Pee Wee Major, and then uh, I, I decided to, uh, to try out for, for the Bantam AAA team, and, and then I made it. And uh, uh, it was probably my dad. My dad uh, never played. He played a little bit. Uh, he's born in Italy and came over, but you know, it just, it just, you know, I saw he worked. He's a really hard worker, and uh, you know, just something that I fell in love with. I fell in love with hockey, and I just saw how, you know, how he worked hard at, you know, whatever it was he put his mind to. So. I took that and I and I just went with it because uh, you know I, I I knew I really wanted to play hockey and you know ultimately my goal was playing in NHL someday so you know just just looking at him and, and just the big thing that I that I thrived on was uh, was hard work because I was the most skilled uh, player in the league that's for sure. And while Martone wasn't known for scoring big goals, he was known to be a great leader for the Peterborough Peets. And if there's one memory he won't forget. It'll be that Game 7 overtime goal that crowned the Peterborough Peets as the 96 OHL champions. It was just it was the right spot at the right time. Um, it, was a, it was a weird series. No one could win at home and uh, you know, we, uh, it was uh, an overtime and, and I just I came off the bench. I saw a late, our line change and I jumped over the bench and I just saw that I can uh, break in and split the D and someone, I forget who it was, feathered a pass or flew a pass right between the D and I was gone. I was Next thing I know, I heard the coaches, everyone yelling at me to get back and then next thing I know, I had a puck on my stick, I'm on a breakaway. So I, uh, I just ended up shooting five hole and uh, ended up scoring and ended up crashing the net and it was just... It was just, it was an unbelievable feeling, you know, just the way it was, and, and especially that group of guys that we had, it's, it, it, we were so close, and, uh, you know, it was just nice, uh, nice one in it, and, uh, you know, we were going, we were going to be playing in the Memorial Cup, but it was nice going in as OHL champions. Peterborough was the host city for the 1996 Memorial Cup, and even though the Peets played as the host team, they were still the OHL champions. Playing in the Memorial Cup is an honor for all players who are lucky enough to participate, because you often only have a couple of years before your junior career is over. You know, we had a great run at it. Uh, it was known as the Fog Bowl. It was a championship game. There's so much fog in the ice, we had to stop and keep skating around to lift the fog. But, uh, you know, I always knew, uh, and, it was, and you, you always hear about Piero fans and how much support they have. and. You know, it was evident that day. It was just, it was electrical. It was just unbelievable in there. The support, and uh, you know, not just during the Memorial Cup, but leading up to it, uh, it's amazing how the community sort of, uh, re you know, just came together and really supported us and really supported the tournament. This Sault Ste. Marie native met the lady he would eventually marry during his last years here in Peterborough, and while the two moved around a bit as Mike pursued a hockey career they would eventually settle and call Peterborough their home. You know what, it, it, was, it, it, was, it was great. The, the guys that he introduced me to with his teammates were all really nice and his billets were, were great people. And it actually didn't even, it seemed like we had been friends forever before um, we even started dating. So it was really, it was really, it was fun and it was, it was, a, good, it was a good time. Actually, we lived around the corner from each other. Uh, for my first three years and I didn't even meet her and then uh, finally my fourth year someone introduced us and uh, we just found out we live not even five minutes away so it was, it was pretty neat. Well we tried, we went to the Sioux for, for one summer and it was tough for Ange because she didn't have, uh, whoop, <laughs> she didn't have, she didn't have uh, you know any friends up there but you know it's a little different for me. Uh, this is her hometown but uh, you know I had my group of friends here too so it's a little bit more uh, uh, easier for me to uh, transition to you know living here and like I said Peterborough is a great place and awesome place to raise a family and you know I call it home now.